Congress needs to reauthorize the child nutrition programs every five years by law. The most important provision in this bill would add $4.5 billion over 10 years to the school meals program. This provision would allow the schools to buy more fruits and vegetables, more low-fat dairy and meat products, and more whole grain foods for the children. House Speaker Pelosi uh, has said that she wants to bring the bill up, but uh, she hasn't announced an, any strategy for it yet. Well, the Senate passed the bill unanimously. But what's become controversial is the fact that the $4.5 billion would come partly from a cut in, in the food stamp program. President Obama has agreed to work with the Congress in, at some point in the future to restore those benefits in food stamps, about $2 billion. I think the food stamp advocates have a point when they say that will be very difficult to do. Why this year rather than waiting for next year? That's because all the, both the anti-hunger advocates and the nutrition advocates say that they fear that a Republican-led Congress would not include more money for school lunch, would not include the provisions that would improve the diet. Some, some people consider the, the provisions that would improve the diet to be one more case of government uh, interference in people's lives in, in, their, in their choices. The nutrition advocates say that if they don't get the bill passed this year, it might be many years uh, before Congress would take up this issue again and provide additional funds.